Good morning, my beautiful people. This is Belle from Belle's Creation. How's everyone doing today? Happy Thursday. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sipping on some Bustelo coffee because your girl is half asleep still. Like, I washed my face this morning. I actually went to bed very early around 8.30. Um, woke up in the middle of the night around 2 o'clock. Did not go back to sleep till 5. And then woke up at 8. But it's all good. <laughs> I have a really good message that I needed to share with you guys. I thought about this um, yesterday evening and thought about um just making a post but instead i'll go ahead and do a video for you guys just so i can have more of that intimate connection and you guys can see me talk um and listen to my voice since a lot of you love my soothing voice which i did not know i have until i started my instagram page but i want to talk to you guys about how negativity and drama manifests in the physical body and all the symptoms that I have received in the past. And I just want you guys to be aware how the body reflects your inner turmoil and <clears throat> how you guys can prevent that so that your body can heal properly um, for those of you that are journeying into that self-discovery, that self-love, and how to take care of yourself, um, this will surely help you because what I've been through, I do not wish this upon anyone. And it's, it's time for, for us to share what we're going through in order to give others insight and to give others enlightenment and just just be more connected in the transition that we're all going through so here we go um i have been associated in drama just like a lot of people have in the past and now that i'm actually more secluded and more aware of where the drama comes from where the negativity comes from and the people I associate myself with and, you know, the workspace that you're currently in, all of that has a huge effect on the body. Now, keep in mind that you just, you don't just consume by eating foods, the negativity that you can harbor, but the body also consumes by eyesight what you listen to, what you touch, and who's around you, okay? It's not just about drinking and eating, but it's all about the eyes. Eyes are portals, including ears, the mouth, okay? And the touch. So I'm going to go down the list of symptoms that I have received previously. And I counted them, and I don't think it's everything because I just thought about one right now. And I'm going to mention the first, the one that I just thought about before I forget. But here I wrote a list of 15 symptoms. 15 symptoms. I got a 16th one. So this one will be um, inflamed gums. That will be the first one. Okay, that I just thought of right now that I did not write. I don't have a pen with me and I do not want to go away from the camera. Inflamed gums, okay? Drama has been festering in my body and has manifested in inflamed gums. I'm going to go down the list. Tension headaches. Irregular heartbeat. Excessive acne. Dry skin tired skin and dullness, dry mouth, constipation, loss of appetite, and overeating. 
lack of sleep, too much sleep, nightmares, muscle aches, um, back aches, tension behind the neck, and all my traps right here. Um, tired feet, um, waking up with aching feet, like to the point that as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm already limping to the bathroom, like limping. Oh my gosh. Lower back pain, stomach aches, that sunken feeling that comes right here. That, that, that feeling where you're, let's say we're about to, I don't know, encounter an enemy or you notice you're in a really bad situation and you get like that sunken feeling, that. Um, anxiety, paranoia, and the lack of decision making. Like when I go back and forth into, you know, having like a strong you know, decision and just second guessing myself for the time. So these are the physical symptoms that I have previously experienced in my body. And it was to the point that I felt like I was just wasting away. And some of these symptoms actually correlate with others as like, um, because of lack of sleep or too much sleep, I was getting the tension headaches. Or as soon as I get the tension headaches, I get the loss of appetite. You understand? Um, the tired feet came with the, um, the, what do you call it? I'm sorry. The muscle aches. Like, everything was just connected. Okay, and it was just like a ripple effect of symptoms upon symptoms upon symptoms. Now, what has triggered these symptoms in my body throughout my teens, my 20s? It was pretty, pretty crazy. Like, most of these symptoms actually stopped as soon as I left my last job, which was back in February of this year. Now, what can trigger these manifestations in your body drama excessive drama unnecessary drama um you're butting into someone else's business gossip gossip man either you're the one that is initiating the gossip or you're just listening to too much gossip whether it's from your friends um acquaintances people at your workplace too much gossip can lead to tension headaches can lead to tense shoulders and trapped trapped um energy back here um the music that you listen to um the television that you watch the things that you watch on youtube wow these birds are going crazy The television that you watch, um, whether, you know, it's the news that you watch, the things that you consume through your eyesight, um, the people that are around you. If you're around lost people, best believe that you are one of the lost ones as well. And when it comes to people around your space that are talking too much, that are talking about other people, that are just lashing out all the negativity, their personal problems, especially when they just give you the personal problems without you even asking about it. Um, the lack of motivation that they have within themselves, they actually wish that upon others so that they, so that they won't feel as they are alone. Um, the news, the news. I, I stopped watching the news when my son TJ was just two, two years old, he's, he's going into seven now in October. So I noticed that 
when I was getting him ready for work, no, for, for daycare, I subconsciously turned on the TV and my TV, I'm living in the Bronx, so the TV went straight to um, Channel 12, which is the Bronx News. And it was nothing but early in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, it was nothing but robberies, deaths, fires, vaccines, protests, molestation and it was like too much that it was just setting the tone for the rest of the day and I found myself hating dreading to go to work even getting dressed um the lack of eating in the mornings because it was just too much tension in my head my mind was just was just full of unnecessary things that had nothing to do with me and I was just carrying that throughout the rest of the day and my body felt all of that now um I'm going at 11 minutes now so I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna cut this off in a second what I'm trying to do here is for you guys to actually come become aware that the body reflects everything that the mind is going through and once you have a very, very full mind, it reflects on the body. So if you're feeling that you're out of alignment, just become aware of what you're consuming. Become aware of the energies that is surrounding you. Um, drama, drama is one of one of the killings out here in this world and there's a lot of people that love to feed the drama but when it comes to me i've learned that if i keep feeding the drama it turns into a monster and the monster will eventually eat me up and i fed that thing and it was literally breaking down my body little by little my organs felt it my heart was tight my heart was like turned into stone. The attitudes, the, the words coming out of my mouth when I was just engulfed in negativity all around me. I was consuming and I was exuding all of that. And the transmission, the body just went through so many, many, many symptoms. I'm going to mention the symptoms again. Tension headaches. When I put tension headaches slash migraines. Irregular heartbeat, excessive acne, dry and tired skin, dullness, dry mouth, constipation, loss of appetite, overeating, lack of sleep, too much sleep, nightmares, muscle aches, back aches, tension behind the neck, excuse me, tired feet, aching feet upon getting up in the morning um stomach aches the sunken feeling in my stomach where the solar plexus hits right here that was an all-day thing oh my gosh anxiety paranoia and lack of coherence like decision making okay guys These are my symptoms that I have experienced. A lot of you might experience different symptoms, but it's all about getting to know your body and communicating with your body because it communicates with you. Now, if you don't sit down with yourself and listen to what your body needs to say, then there's a lack of communication between you and you. And that needs to be checked especially if you want to get better, if you want to strive to, to, to become whole, you need to bring all your bodies together, your physical body, your spiritual body, your soul body. Alrighty, may you all have a beautiful Thursday. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, one more thing. If you want to talk about it further, you can either um, let me know in my comments or you can send me private message. All right. Take care, guys. Love you.